Yo, yo, yo. So, this is the gas pedal situation. As you guys can see, it happened not too long ago. It's currently inspected. No airbags deployed. That's a good thing because I want to keep that steering wheel. That steering wheel alone is 400. I'm going to try to take it as much as I can and try to make it as much as I can. The rims probably go cheap. But the car is total, as you guys can see. Because I was looking. It's going to need axles. The tie rods is bent. See the chassis? The chassis is bent, but with these cars, it's like a lot of electronic shit. As you can see, that's exposed. So, God knows, man. The, it don't take the key no more. So, then even if I fix it, the back rim is tucked in. So, that means something on the frame is bent over there. So, this is pretty much a loss. Um, Hopefully... Those out there that have a car worth more than three grand, four grand, put full coverage because you never know what can happen. Anything can happen. You know, this car was running mint. It was running perfect. And one thing led to another. And now look at it sitting right here. Um, So we, we call Lexus. We have an appointment for the 13, like I said in the other video. And um, uh, we're waiting on that day to come so we could we're gonna tow it just like how it is we're gonna have to tow pick it up he's gonna pick it up and we're gonna take it down there and then they're gonna pull probably the black box out everybody talk about this black box so they're gonna pull that out pull the computer probably and they say they're gonna give me a result in 45 to 60 days but i kind of wanted to share with you guys it's been a roller coaster man you know I'm a regular type of guy, you know, I don't make big money, so I bust my ass, bro. I worked and saved money. I bought cars. I bought that car cheap and tried to sell it. Like, that's how I got to that. I bought a bunch of little $500 cars, sold them, and I said to myself, I'm tired of driving little-ass cars. I want to get me something better. And, you know, for those that have also, for those that's looking for cars, always make sure... You look into the recalls. Don't buy a car not knowing if it has any recalls or, or, or any internal situations that can translate to an accident or, 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 poss or possible worse, you know, like somebody getting hurt. So I'm trying to share this experience with you guys. This just happened about like three weeks now, three and change. Lost the car. I'm down like about six now. Um, between the payment on the impound, I had to get it out. It was like 15 and we got to pay another 600 to get it towed to the dealer. So, you know, if you guys don't want nothing like that to happen, just stop being a cheapskate, put full coverage on it. Um, other than that, Lexus is a fucking really nice, comfortable, sweet ride. I love Lexus. Even with this situation, I still love Lexus. If I was to get me another one of these, I'll obviously make sure, get the update done, get that recall done, and then you have a really, really, really nice, reliable car. But my dumbass, you see it right here, guys. So just quick video. I wanted to show you the car. I'm not going to take all of that out because if you could see all of this, you could imagine, you know, that whole thing is mangled. So, yeah.